from the ways of God, and they began to do another thing because they need blessing. That day was day affecting me. Tell me if I don't go, that I should see my life that is in his hand. That whatever he say will happen to me. That day I know I use a fear. Because just like you are talking to something you don't know. You don't know. And you don't know what you are talking to me, and you could be able to be sitting just face to face like it. The thing is stone, where you are looking at all like this. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. 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 Say, let me just write a discover. Are you writing something really like this? <laughs> I, don't, I, I get what I'm saying. And from up to down is what? If you do not know that type of why, it's just not like where. Before, before, everything makes me to be wearing this. I have them separately. But I prefer wearing my suit or my attire to preach the gospel. Are you hearing what I'm saying, sir? But the way I saw him and eventually I noticed what happened made me to fall in love again by wearing what I have. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So he told me that if I don't go, that I should go uh, uh, go, go, uh, what is it go, go. I should go that I will see a place there. He now show me the place. Show me the house. Show me the tree. Show me everything that is there. I saw them clean, clear. And I promised that I would go. That I would go before Wednesday. So when I reach house and tell my wife, my wife said this is not come to another thing. Let him not be here now and lose me. That what will happen and that we brought up our passports, not that we were call a, a general, we have a general who is a residing in that, and I tell him to give me a letter of uh, invitation so that we can go back to South Africa. The man promised to give us that letter on Thursday. Then that Thursday, the man called us back and tell us that there is a pastor who is coming to Bonacco, he's coming with his private jet, that is, we, we have told him to pick us, that we should wait in so so less. So that Wednesday, I couldn't wait again, I relaxed. So, that early morning, when we wake up on that Thursday morning to go to Potako, we now kick the vehicle. My wife enter, my children enter, I want to go meet the pastor at the Potako where I want to preach and know how it happened with the station and can go, go with him to back to that Then the four tires of my vehicle bend at the same time. The four tires. The four tires of the vehicle bend. I don't know whether if it is you, whether you will still be there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> new tires. I saw if you could be able to come and see my tire, it's new, new tires. Now, all of them beg. I have not, I have not changed it. It's not there. The tire is okay. It's still there. So, then the four tires bend at the same time. If I move the motor, motor will do like this. If I move it, it will do like this. What I said, what is happening? So let us use transfer. I said, my wife, no, that this thing has come to an friend. Let's go and ask God very well. And know before I can My wife said, what do we do? You have promised the man that you are going to go to that next. I said, you have promised the man, but that is not all about life. Let us first of all go and ask God. We now go and pray and begin to pray. Thank God my wife is a preacher. And we go and meet his heart. So, we got a revelation in, we got a revelation and just to say the boys come. I say, I want your husband to go. Nothing will happen to you. So when my wife came and began to tell me who, who was not here before, he was not uh, he was not supporting me before. Then I come and tell me, Daddy, please go, just go. Know the place. Deliver the message. You come back, we can go. I said, I tell you, what are you trying to say? That I should go. You. You don't follow them. Praise the Lord. So, he said, I can go first and find out whether what I am seeing is true. So, early in the morning, Friday, I left my house and began to go to Ogu. When I reached Ogu, I asked from morning to, I reached there around 6 or 6.30 in the morning. I asked from that 6.30 in the morning till the after 2 to 3. 
there was no place they agreed that that was something like that place. Until when we wanted to go, because the army officer who say he normally see man and there, now come up and lead us. The army man from there and said to lead me and began to look for the place. So after that, then we could, and the army officer said the time he's always going to go to the gym walk. He said, come back from other people. The pastor should be going, that uh, this place is not safe. So it was the Okada man who was carrying, up, carrying us up and down that said, there is a place he know, but they don't know that one other place is church, but I'm looking for church now. But that place, just like it's an occultism house. That way, that they normally see people there. They do anyhow, and uh, that he was saying something else. That's okay. Uh, carry me down there. Let me just see there first. And know whether it's a place I'm looking for. Mind you now, the Okada man has contained the place. So, for me, I'm not going there to see a church again. I'm going there to see a baptism house. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. So, along the line, when I enter, I reach here, the capital is here. Immediately, the whole building I saw, the house I saw, the dream I saw, everything I saw in the dream was what was there. I tell God, I said, okay, now I'm not to deliver this message. I deliver it, I go. I never rest. Pastor, you know, I enter the premises, I ask for the pastor, the man of the room, I don't know what they call them, that I then I ask them. They say it's in such a way, I say, I call him, then it's just in the family state for me. Then, come out. I say, is it here? Are there anybody that answer can answer anything here? He said, the uh, agent is uh, the founder of this ministry. God brought him to self Gentiles. Say self Gentiles. Self I doubted with him for a long time because I'm a scholar of scripture. I'm a scholar. By the time of God, I teach in Bible school. I teach minister. So I fighted for a long time until the king appeared at that place at the same time again. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Yes. I said in that church, where were I doing? Where I am, the pastor would argue, the king appeared in a chair like this on altar and sit down and tell me, and my God, he called me by my name and tell me that he sent me here. That here is a church of what? God. That he sent me to make corrections and put here together for people to come freely and serve what? God. The evangelist was there sitting on that time. And if, if you want me that time, I'm not going to go to Gang Salaman. Press the law. Because, because I, I thought maybe I have entered cage. Uh, maybe they, they won't turn out to use me. Because I've already had this. Uh, it's a uh, cough. So when I just saw him, I said, ah, I'm not going to come down. And the worst part is that the doors are closed. <laughs> then I begin to ask, how? That's right. <laughs> Along the line, then they asked me that I should go to a national conference, that they should carry me to a national conference, and go and deliver to one of his sons. They did not call it my son. They call it one of my what son that is sitting down on the floor. <laughs> then when I came, say, say, one of your son sitting down on the floor. I was still talking as I'm talking and asking questions. He said, now, one of his sons, because I myself, I am equally his son. Yes. I said, sir, I'm not your son. <laughs> he said, I am equally his son. He said, he said, do I want to doubt him? I said, he said, my name is not okay here. Yeah. That he was here when I was born. Yeah. So, All my body break down. All my body come down. I say when he said he said I believe he entered to that your evangelist. He said tomorrow, tomorrow. I said how will I come here today? Yeah. The bishop like me. The same so no. You need to go back from again tomorrow. Ah. Me and I 
now talk to me. I said, complain me and do what I said. So, early in the morning, I bath, I come out. By then, even the evangelist does not even know who I am. The talk is ordinary person. He does not even know me. And I can wait to go and deliver the message and be free out of that. So I can be completely free out of that. Because, because the thing has tormented me. He has tormented me. And if you listen that, I don't have peace again. If I'm going to preach in the church, I don't know whether if I'm on other COVID preaching, whether you will appear there to discuss me. <laughs> so I, I, I was, I mean, when this type of thing happened to me, the prayer minister, they will say I'm possessed. They will say I have this faith. So, so I was worried until a God helped me. Along the line, I wrote the message. After doing the message, Bishop, look, let me tell you, whoever God wants to choose, is only going to choose. Yes. Yes. The man on the throne, God chose him. If there is nobody respecting you, let you want began to respect him. You can't be a good Christian without having love. Hello! Hi. Church, hello! Hi. You can't be a, a child of God without having love in you. Love without love. making somebody sharing the body of another person. No. Immediately, the, the Lord ships on me. He heard me. He said, You know that I'm going to call you. You know that I'm going to call you. He sit me down. Impressively, he, he, he said, no, no, we don't talk now. I should relax. Because the tension was still not. Yes. And they know, let me just tell us, we are going to review that particular. The church the, the will have another fear. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we are going to review it and make it more. Uh, yes. 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 So, for God bless us. So, the minute I enter, I say, I have. If I have the shot, I will hear my voice. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When that hurt me and beat me down and began to talk to me, tell me about the victim, his father, that, his father, this, that, this, and begin to tell me about what it is. Now, I told you I'm a scholar. I'm a scholar in the scripture. If I, I can't, that's why I can't, if you are preaching here, I am going to be here. Because if you preach and talk anyhow, I will never allow you to say so. Because one, if I don't teach only in the Bible, I teach both in concordize, and I teach in dictionary, Bible dictionary, so that you, if you are talking anything, you got the real meaning of what you are what talking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I studied in Israel for seven good years. So by His grace, I did my degree in theology in, in India for four years. So I knew what I'm talking about. So along the line, then he embraced me and began to talk to me and began to tell me things, began to bring some books and give me to read. Then I began to read some books. I see that this man we are talking about is a believer. You know, most of you does not know that that the teacher was a believer. You only know him as a miracle worker. Most of you are here because of what God will do for you. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. Yes. Let me. I will talk to this in front of you. I'm entering to a little bit somehow now. Most of you are here because of what God is going to do for you. God won't make a marry. I won't marry you. That's why here. I won't get money. Hey, hey, Satan is against me. My uncle is against me. That's only why you are here. You are not here to serve the living God. The God of what? Ejidem. I began to study on Ejidem Road by the 